because whew, I tell you what, if you've got a good arm, you could throw a tennis ball from uh, one ground to the other. It's Fulham versus Brentford, and Fulham are at plus 150. Brentford plus 190. Don't underestimate them. They are 4 0 last week, and a lot of good judges knew that they were going to be uh, too much for Manchester United. The draws at plus 245. The under or over, well, it looks like it's going to be over straight away, but you're getting minus 105. The pick'em for the home side is at minus 125. This gives you everything, Mark O'Hare. Brentford Pickham is at plus 105. Flip that coin. Yeah, um, there's a couple of prices in the Premier League. I, I raised a few eyebrows over this this week, and one of which was the Crystal Palace one, and then the second one was this one. Uh, I know it's a They're identical, on the derby. aren't they? Near enough? They're near enough identical. Uh, yeah, yeah, in terms of price, yeah. And, and look, I'm, I'm siding with the underdogs in this game. I think Brentford are, are too big at the prices, and therefore I think there's opportunity to get them on side in the handicaps. Uh, I propose backing Brentford uh, basically with a quarter goal start. So draw no bet forward slash kind of um, uh, plus half a goal. So if the game ends in a draw, uh, we get a half stakes winner. If Brentford win, we get a full stakes winner. The only way in which we don't make money is if Fulham win this match at Craven Cottage. Um, both teams unbeaten, uh, surprised, uh, but Fulham have been. Uh, I've been surprised with their performances so far. I thought they played pretty well for the first hour against Liverpool, uh, deserved their points. And then you could say they're a little bit unfortunate at Wolves missing that penalty. But actually, if you exclude the penalties that they've won in both of their games, they haven't created a huge amount from open play. Um, so they're sixth in terms of XG4, strip out the penalties, and they drop to bot the bottom five. And this is a very different test for them, a very different uh, environment. Uh, obviously, opening day, playing Liverpool at home, the crowd, the atmosphere is going to be right behind them. There's no level of expectation whatsoever. You can just go out and play a game, try and disrupt and nick something on the break. This is different. Um, there'll be a level of expectation going around with it being Brentford. Brentford not being your sort of traditional top half Premier League team. Uh, I'm interested to see how they cope, but I just think the Bees are underrated. Uh, they battled back brilliantly at Leicester on match day one. Probably should have won the game actually late on. And then as you say, they absolutely smashed Man United last week. And the first half of that game was... Just, just you know, can't actually sort of put into words what we saw in that first 45 minutes. And look back to last season, um, Brentford had the 11th best away Premier League record, which is not bad for a newly promoted club. They did lose nine times, but look closer. Seven of those games that they lost were against the top nine. Their record away at teams in 10th and below, uh, which is definitely where Fulham are going to be. Uh, Brentford won four, drew four and lost just twice. Look at their record home and away against the bottom half, just five defeats in 18. Uh, they've already won all the major metric battles uh, against Leicester and Man United. Goals, expected goals, shots, etc. So, yeah, I think they're more than capable of going to Craven Cottage, departing with at least a point and therefore returning us a half-stakes winner or hopefully a bit more. Um, I still think yeah, Fulham have surprised me with their approach so far this season, but I still think they're going to be there or thereabouts. And I still fancy Brentford to be the better team. Uh, I just think they're being slightly underrated by the market coming into match day three. Yeah, strong, strong uh, Brentford. And also, they're starting to lose any respect for any of the sides. And last week would have done them of the power of good as well. Stinch, are we looking at this being a bit of a fiery contest? And that means we should have a be looking at card lines? Uh, I'm not sure who the referee is, which would be uh, the, the, the big driver for me. Um, they play it's over each four and a half. Over four and a half cards at 2.2. So you might be able to get sort of... Uh, that's, that's quite big, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, exactly, at exactly. Five yellows. Yeah, I think you you wouldn't really want to be sat at the beginning of the game waiting for five yellows to come out. I've seen, I think we've seen um, regularly in England the the referees can be quite lenient at times. Games on the continent, you're much more confident in, in backing high high carded affairs. So yeah, I would think I would I would leave that one alone. Uh, it's, it's kind of they they've seen us coming if you like, haven't they? You know they already got yeah. the line fairly high. I also feel that like maybe this Brentford price is potentially a bit short after last week against Man United. Um, you know, we mentioned that Brentford were uh, potentially a decent bet. Also, Brentford to win half-time, full-time against United around plus 650. Obviously, racing to that 3-0 lead. Um, early days with Fulham, really, because they have, they have tightened up a little bit from the last time they were in the Premier League. Although, having said that, it's now 12 games going back to when they were last in the Premier League since they picked up a win. So, the longer they go without that, I think the pressure will uh, will continue. Um, yeah, Brentford probably are the sort of the, the team you, you want to be with. Uh, really encouraging the fact that they've got that win without Christian Eriksen. I'm quite apprehensive regarding 
how they will do long term without him. But you know, I think that probably is, is gone now after that victory last week. Jada Silva is looking really, really good. He scored another goal last weekend. Spent most of last season out injured, uh, and they still got the uh, Damsgaard to come in from Sampdoria as well. Um, so yeah, I think I think uh, Brentford. Um, everything's uh, set up for them to, to continue on what was a really good uh, season for them last season in terms of, you know, settling in as a, as a Premier League side. Um, it's just how Fulham approached this game. Are they going to rely on, um, you know, trying to nick stuff off set pieces with the likes of Mitrovic and some of the other threats they've got aerially? I'm not sure where the goals are going to come from, really, other than uh, Mitrovic. So maybe like uh, Fulham under one and a half team total. I know the price is a little short, maybe at minus 155. Um, But maybe that's somewhere to to look at. Although having said that, Brentford's last eight away matches in Premier League have gone overs. So if you sort of wanted to blindly follow that trend with Brentford away from home, then uh, maybe that'd be the way to go. And you could probably even take that price a bit higher as well because Brentford don't keep many clean sheets. So you could probably take the sort of plus 125 on both teams scoring over two and a half goals. So... I think a lot of options uh, that uh, people could be interested in if they've got a strong opinion. Uh, but for me, I'm happy just to cheer, cheer on uh, Mark and Brentford here. Yeah, I think he, I think he's going the right way. So basically, he's gone with Brentford like plus a quarter. Uh, means if there is a draw, then he will get the uh, a half win. Um, yeah, I think there's goals. I think both of these teams are uh, very. Very happy at set pieces. I think they both uh, bring threats in, in the both of the boxes. Brentford have great pace. I think it will be fiery because obviously it is so, so close to each other. Um, but I've got to favour Brentford, as in just being too strong, too athletic. But I have, to, I have to also leave it alone. But the goal's over at two and a half at minus 105. I'd probably be happy to go for that. And if you can get three and a half, over three and a half cards anywhere, I'd go for that. Four and a half. You're looking at five, and I'm thinking, no, it could easily just fall on four. Okay, official picks then, please. And I know that there is only one, and it's uh, Brentford Pickham plus 0.5, which is basically Brentford plus 0.25, which means, as I said, if it's a draw, it's a half win. Myself and Stinch have left it alone. (laughs) 